All right, what's up? Just out here, uh, kind of giving just a last minute, uh, last time update on the shop because it's pretty well done. Uh, the only thing I have to do is the floors, which is gonna be just another time because I'm still not sure what I wanna do with it. Um, got a good weekend. Doors for the razor came in. Same thing as what we put on Kevin's last video. It's the uh, Bear Claw V2 doors. The only thing I ever have to say about it is that th this part right here doesn't line up. I mean, it's that short, but for $300 less, I can deal with just that. And these doors must be made on a Friday too because none of these rivets or the, the Allens were tight. So um, the, the glare on here is pretty bright because it's another part of the shop update. I added uh, three more lights, added that one, and then these two, and it's, it's bright in here. Um, the razor's doing great. I put the tall snorkels back on. Got that on there with the pre-filter. I uh, put the big gun exhaust back on. And like I said, the doors, took the seatbelts out so those won't get muddy. Got the 300 back over here, sold the Outlaw 2s. Just went back stock to sell and to play with until it does sell. 2000 by the way, you know how it runs, runs perfect. Um, I'm gonna add casters onto this bench here so I can make this one mobile and move around. Kind of got my used motor parts uh, displayed again over there. Like I said, everything is painted. The ceiling was retextured and painted. And here's the reason why, uh, all this update. Got all my tools finally organized. Got these from uh, the Harbor Freight. And um, just real quick, easy to tell what it is. This is all new cobalt tools. Everything from wrenches, breaker bars, um, adapters, swivels. You got quarter, three eighths up here. And then all the specialty little sockets in there. Snap ring pliers, Allens, all sizes. Then in here, I just finished this up today. Had to get uh, the holders again from Harbor Freight. But uh, all new wrenches. Back here is the gearless ratcheting wrenches. This little update. These things are awesome. They have like a one-way bearing in there. So as you rotate these, like there's no ratcheting. No matter where you move it though, that's what's going to catch and grab. If you move it just a barely, it's going to catch and grab. Move it all the way, it's going to catch and grab. Nice, very smooth, and it's strong. Uh, so that's updated these. You got regulars ratcheting wrenches back there. Move down the next drawer, it's all new screwdrivers, all your flatheads and Phillips. Uh, that's a tool that I use a lot. Got this one for free. The uh, star fittings back there. All new pliers, except for the main ones I'm gonna have to use all the time. That one's for like shocks, and then this one's of course for the rivets, plastic rivets. Then in here, just uh, drills, picks, knives, punches. And then in here, since it's the sockets are a little bit too big, I have to pick up on that drawer, but it'll be alright. These are the half breaker bars, of course your rear basic set, same thing with 3 8 So this is the new setup for um, the pools that might get a little annoying. So yeah, all done here with the tools. Um, got my new cabinets in. I ended up taking out those ones so I can put my trash can underneath there. A lot more storage space on my fluids and everything underneath here. My spare tools. I mean, it's all Claire's fluids and and well, other than Super Tech, that's for flushing. So yeah, it's coming together. But um, it's kind of the update on the stuff. The 300s, of course, ready. Just got to get mud tires for the razor here. But I mean, these doors are very nice with the dual latching. So. And there was just this one really crappy weld on this one. And it's not on the other side, but it's just right here. I don't, it's like they were testing it out or something. So I'm glad they tested it out on mine. I think mine were made on a Friday. Still gotta clean up the windshield. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. It's a completely different feel into the Razor 2. The only thing I hope I don't have a problem with is, um, since the doors stick out more than the tires, if I scrub up against a tree or something, I mean, it's pretty well, pretty well, probably screwed. 
So yeah, um, sorry about all these little stupid videos about my shop, even though it's, it's just what it is, it's a two-stall garage, but I make it what I can, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's bright in here at night. It's gonna, it, I mean, it's just gonna do great. I got my TV, I got my radio, I got plenty of room for whatever I need to in here, so it's turning out exactly how I wanted. But uh, going to a car show in Dallas this weekend, and then next weekend will be riding time. So... A little, last little update but I do like the doors a lot I mean I basically paid 350 bucks for a armrest because that's what it really boils down to but I think it looks great all right guys well thanks for watching and uh, staying with me through these boring little updates and I mean I guess you could kind of as a review for doors and tools but whatever thank y'all